All right, good afternoon. Just wanted to go over what I see uh, in the charts. So I've kind of noticed this particular line right here. There is a trending upward support within this broadening descending channel. So this is kind of like my angled line in the sand. Um, so what I'm kind of expecting is, you know, the price to ride along it. But if I do see a break, retest, and a back test of this support, oh man, usually the more you test a particular uh, support line, the likelihood of it breaks. So uh, I would kind of expect it to kind of like just drag ass and then just continue breaking down to the continuation of the trend. Now, I had to give you the bear scenario, um, but keep in mind this is an upward moving trend. So um, there is a likelihood that price could actually see some form of break, retest, and then continuation in the upside. So there are a couple things in place that are setting uh, things up for upward price movement, but you know that is to be determined at this time. I'm keeping my eyes on these uh, exponential moving averages. Um, I'm looking at momentum. Momentum is more to the upside. Keep in mind it is a weekend. So the way that weekend price action works is that there's less people trading in the open market. Uh, usually people are out and about, kind of like, you know, you know, living their lives and stuff like that. So there's just literally less people trading. So it's easier to manipulate price if you're a whale. So, uh, you know, this could be whale action that's manipulating price up. And then, you know, once, you know, uh, 4th of July ends, you know, we do have a holiday coming up. You know, once the holiday week, extended holiday weekend is done, uh, then we're back to downward trend. So, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily put too much emphasis on any particular price action within the next couple of days. I would actually consider price to be more serious in terms of overall trend after the holiday. So, anywho, I just wanted to give you a quick, quick, quick update in regards to what I'm seeing. Uh, let's see, go to the 37 minute. Yeah, we are kind of seeing a uh, resolution in regards to this bearish momentum with the money flow kind of dissipating. Usually when we see money flow kind of dissipating, meaning we have a trend. Uh, whoops, click the wrong thing. When we have a upward trend like this, this is the money flow indicator, the green and red. That kind of sends signals in my head like, oh crap, like, you know, we could see continuation to the upside more so than to the downside. And I mean, seeing this upward trend within this broadening uh, descending wedge, to me, is a good sign. You could even argue that uh, this resistance line as well, that, that could be considered a symmetrical triangle. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but at the end of the day, these predominantly do break to the upside, but it is been back tested as resistance multiple times uh, or it was it was considered support right here but when you usually break it it get and it got retested as resistance so you kind of have to go with the you know the, the ladder of that you know it's currently resistance so you have to respect it as such anywho um, if it does break out if this is truly a symmetrical triangle within a larger broadening wedge uh, <clears throat> we got to look at the resistance line right there. And if there is a breakout to the upside, um, we would then see a revisit to 20.95. Uh, but conversely, if it breaks at any point within this channel on the broadening wedge, uh, it is below the support line if it breaks the downside. So that implies continuation to this bottom support to retest it as support. So frankly, the percentages of a higher move to the downside are higher than a move to the upside. Since keep in mind, we are in a bear market. So bear moves are more intense than bull moves. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you that scenario. Let me, um, yeah, let me duplicate or let me clone this particular, I just wanted, oh crap, <laughs> I cloned the wrong thing, baby. All right, um, I cloned the wrong thing. There you go.
Okay. So these are the price, and, and that's the thing. Like, if it breaks, I'm gonna. Oh, I did. I did clone it. Ugh, okay. Well. Well, regardless, let's say like the inflection points right here. So if it breaks a lower low, then the likelihood we're going down. Um, so these are the possible scenarios. Let me give you the exact lines here. There you go. So top side, if it breaks to the upside, top side would be 20.9. Um, downside, at the very least, 18.4. Given that this zone right here was actually uh, uh, considered support and it broke down as resistance, this would actually act as uh, resistance if it were to get broken. And then likelihood is that this bottom end supports of the broadening descending wedge would get tagged at some point or maybe even overextended so that's why like if price breaks below this yellow vertical uh, horizontal or slanted i'm sorry this slanted line i am expecting prices to come down here at 17.9 but uh yeah that is to be determined it is the weekend crazy stuff happens in regards to price charting and all that kind of stuff so i'll leave it, i'll leave it at that but anyway have a good rest of the weekend uh Party on. Take care. Bye-bye.